Ah, uh, 2016. It's been a crap year. But tomorrow, it's 2017, which is probably going to be even worse. Hello and welcome to my railway-themed news show, which I like to pretend is every month. It's Train News. Oh, and by the way, I have decided to drop the KD Travel News segment from the show, so from now on it will be only rail news. Let's begin. Construction is now underway on the Audsall Court, a new piece of track which will link Piccadilly and Victoria stations in Manchester. Here to explain more is a little animation which I've stolen from another one of my videos on the topic. The Audsall Court, set to open in December 2017, will allow trains to run between Deansgate and Manchester Victoria. The project was delayed by over a year due to several court cases regarding the route of the Oldsville Cord. This is because, as you can see on this map, it cuts through the approaching viaduct to the former Liverpool Road Station, the oldest intact railway station in the world. Once complete, the cord will allow trains to run between Piccadilly and Victoria stations. TransPennine Express will be the first to take advantage of the cord by diverting Manchester Airport to York and Middlesbrough services through the Oldsville Cord in Victoria, instead of having them reverse at Piccadilly, freeing up space in the main Piccadilly concourse. Northern Connect, launching in 2019, will also use the cord on their new Manchester Airport to Bradford service. The second half of Metrolink's second city crossing between Exchange Square and St Peter's Square is now structurally complete, with successful testing having taken place in November. The opening of the line was most likely deferred so as not to interfere with the Christmas market. And the line is now set to open in tw early 2017, though an official opening date is yet to be released. That's the good news. The bad news is that another set of works that was supposed to take place in Manchester, at Piccadilly and Oxford Road stations, now appears to have been mothballed. Piccadilly was set to receive two new through platforms, whilst the platforms at Oxford Road were set to be extended, and a new footbridge was going to be installed, which would allow disabled access to platform one, Network Rail haven't officially said that the project has been cancelled, but the chief executive has hinted at that in an interview. The December 2016 timetable change saw the start of Chiltern Railway's new London Marlebone to Oxford service via Bicester. The, new, the upgraded section of track between Oxford and Bicester forms the western part of what is East West Rail. The next section, from Bicester and Aylesbury to Bletchley, is set to open in, wait, really? 2024? And the central section between Bedford and Cambridge isn't going to open until the 2030s? And now it seems like they won't even be electrified. Class 378 Electro Stars have now entered service on Great Northern and C2C. Also, it appears that Eurostar is now planning to scrap 373 units. Wait, what? You're scrapping 373s? What? Whose idea was this? There are far older and crappier trains in both the UK and Europe, and they're scrapping the 373s? What a waste! Alliance Rail, owned by Deutsche Bahn, who had previously tried to gain open access paths on the east and west coast main lines, have now proposed a new service called Great Southern, which would run from London Waterloo to Southampton using former Gatwick Express Class 442s. Arriva Trains Wales has also expressed interest in using the form of 442s along with diesel locomotives to boost capacity on their services. On the 9th of November, a Croydon tram on the London Tramlink network derailed, killing seven people. The tram is believed to have been travelling at 40 miles per hour around Sandilands Junction, which had a speed limit of 12 miles per hour. The RAIB is now investigating. Northern has finally begun their train refurbishment programme, starting with 158752, which has been painted in the new Northern livery. Northern have also proposed converting some of the 319 units to electro-diesel bi-modes. Then the media had a meltdown over Chris Grayling's announcement that he would like to have more localised integration of network rail. Now what many don't understand is that this definitely does not mean handing track maintenance responsibilities to Northern or Virgin Trains, so calm down. Many have also called for Chris Grayling to resign following his apparent refusal to allow Southern and Southeastern services to be transferred to TfL in the future. Southern, by the way, is still in complete chaos. 
as a result of its door dispute with RMT and Aslef with no end in sight. TfL have now begun consultation on a Bakerloo line extension from Elephant and Castle to Lewisham via New Crossgate. The Viva Rail D train is now being tested on the Nuneaton to Leamington Spa via Coventry line, where it is set to enter service with London Midland, with estimates that it would enter service in about February 2017. However, yesterday a fire broke out on a test train on the site of the future Kenilworth station. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Most of the information I gave you in this video I got from Modern Railways, a great monthly magazine about, well, railways. I am not currently sponsored, but uh, keep publishing if you are listening. I would be more than happy to accept money to promote your magazine to all six of my viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Here's to 2017, and please subscribe. St. Peter's Square, along with the entire Eccles line, has now reopened. I've actually made a um, few videos on the topic myself. You can check them out. Uh, Metrolink services are now back across the entire network. So this is a very old news story, although I've only just found out about it a few weeks ago. But on the 5th of March, I think, there were changes to UK legislation, meaning that trains in the UK no longer need to have yellow ends as long as their lighting meets certain requirements. Which does explain why all the artist impressions of new TPE trains have black front ends. Hey future me, what happens in the future? Oh, um... I grow my hair long. Again? Yeah, except for real this time. What else? Um... Oh, I hit 300 subscribers. 300? Whoa! And we vote to leave the EU. What? Holy mother of- Oh, and Donald Trump becomes president of the United States. What? Wait, who the f*** is Donald Trump?